Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. I accidentally already hit the play button, but I didn't want you to miss the pop-up that we got a new gold card, because I know some people like that. So, here it is. New gold card. Shen, he was really good in that last run, remember? Remember that? I remember that. I was there. <laughs> I remember. Alright, let's run it. This guy is crazy. What? Dude, I've been playing six four fives. What do you mean nine four four? Look, 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 look. I like there's no way you they offer you the most gifted of horses, and I'm gonna say no, absolutely fucking not. I'm picking this dude. That's my look at this. Look at this dude. Nine four four barrage. What's the catch? Is he gonna shoot me? Does he have smack back and he's gonna hit me? Am I dead already? I don't know, but it sure is curious, isn't it? Uh, I want to play Spike. It's been a few days since I last picked Spike. I miss my boy. Yeah, I hope you're doing well out there. I'm doing fine. Oh my god, you know, someone pointed out I haven't seen the gnome in a long time. Finally. There he is. It's about freaking time my man showed up. Uh, and it's, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, hope you're doing well. This is actually, I'm doing a double recording today. I've been kind of struggling to find anything I want to do in my free time. So, yeah, I'll cross. Why not? I want to play, like, Bellatro, really, but that's a stream game. Primarily. This gnome costs me a lot of money. He's very expensive. I think I can delay... A decent amount. But it is really hard to not kill him here. If the boss spawns in down here, there's no hope. I've done what I can. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Team Gnome. It is what it is. No gnomes today. Well, unless. Maybe. Maybe I can change my fate. Shift the realities. Look at the thumbnail. Is he there? In my reality, I just looked. He isn't there. There never was a naked gnome. He died in the war. Long ago. Perhaps we can make a better future. A different way. A gnome we can count on. My god, we did it. I traveled back in time to save this gnome. It's not too bad to give up the money. Uh, by the way, the guy who said all those months ago, uh, your runs are dead if you don't make it to 100 gold, he was saying that... Now, this is a before time, right? Obviously, this whole ordeal, this whole joke was back in the day when you got scaling money for multi-kills. But he was saying that because he hated the gnome, uh, no joke. He, that That is what sparked it. He said that shit because he was talking about how much he didn't like the gnome and he thought the gnome was a waste of time to take. Because it costs you so much money. But he didn't know about the sun cream naked gnome tech. Did he? No, he didn't. Alright, so we got a picture that gets me through the early game here. Tutorian is not it. It's for sure bite box to help us just live. And let's take Snuffle. This Crego? Yikes. Let's take Snuffle. You should pick Fizzle here, but I know where I'm going with this run. You give me some attack increases, maybe a gotcha pomper if you're feeling feeling kind to me today. And we got a banger on our hands. This bite box kills Uba Bear. For sure. Happy to get rid of the demons. Nice and quick like. Yeah, I I like the gnome. He's not even golded. I think I've only seen him like once since the golding of cards came into the game. Wonder if he was just on vacation or what. Maybe no times? Have I seen the gnome lately? I don't know. Anyway, you know the deal. We got Sun Song Box, we got a gnome, we got a very clear through line to victory. I know what I do from here. Take her home. It's sick and exciting. 
The big problem with the gnome actually is that most of the things that gnome is good for, you could just play a different unit and get a better response. Like whatever I do to the gnome here, we could have just done the, the BG. No, B, B, Fizzle. Fizzle is her name. We could have just done it to Fizzle and gotten the same outcome. But, and this part's really important. Haha, <laughs> gnome funny. So hope that helps you understand why we're playing the gnome here today. Hope that clears things up for you. In case you're curious, in case it's a mystery to you. Hope that helps. This goes here, and then we can rotate Junkhead up, and this fight has been pretty mechanical. Not a whole lot of trouble. Just takes a minute to clear, but, you know, no complaints. Nothing particularly crazy here, right? No multi-kills or anything like that. I guess that's the downside, but that's the gnome problem. Uh, it's okay. I don't... I, I guess I do need money to make this gnome a little better. But... Because we are pretty poor. We've been getting like 150s lately, but this was a... Yeah, this is like a one, 123 going into this area. But we get free money, and then it's like we had no troubles. Molten dip. It's all good. I kind of want to go ICGM. ICGM is calling your shot. If I pick ICGM, I'm saying I'm going to get four crowns. Gnome, Sun Cream, ICGM, Forging Stove. And then I get a... Oh, I need, I need a fifth crown for that, actually. Fifth crown is on junk. And then I have 11 damage on a one turn timer, which is actually pretty bad. Hmm. Whatever. I'll take it anyway. Try and stop me. Forging stove's right here. Hmm. Frenzy wrench. Can we go for some recycle nonsense here? The problem is that I don't have any junk generation. I've made this mistake before. You pick up a card like Frenzy Wrench and you go, Oh yeah, let's do some cool shit with this. And then you know what you do? You get mad. You get upset. The game betrays you. And I go in the comments section and I read about how I should have just gotten more junk generation cards. And I go, hmm. Yeah, I should have taken that bomb barrel in the last pick. Because there was a frenzy wrench here. I'm going to pass. I think it's not right. I think it's not right. Lumen Lantern... Like, the highest rate of cool shit, but in reality on this run it's going to be disappointing because there's nothing to do with it. Block charm. Yeah, we could turn him into Blunky. Holy shit, the naked gnome Blunky training arc? I don't believe it. It doesn't seem right. The important thing to note here is that I do no damage. This shit looks bad. This is bamboozle. This guy's not gonna live very long. Um Yeah, we we can't We can't play the gnome in this fight. It has to be my hero who takes over here. Oh. Oh dear. That's okay. I think for sure we just go for the hero play. This guy will do fine. You know, theoretically, I should have ICGM'd first. Not even theoretically, I should have just ICGM'd first. That's okay. I don't even think it's a theory, though. Mm, no bite box. Play Silence on the Gobbler here. That seems right. Now, I don't have any junk in the tank anymore. So, to generate junk, I need to play Junkhead and then Sunsong Box that. Um. Clear issue. No junk. No Sunsong Box in hand. I think you're out of your mind if you think this ICGM is going off on this fight. 
This is just Junkhead too. I could press redraw, go to five on my hero instead of four. Giving up one turn. How do you like that? I think it's okay. Connecting the Sun Song box is probably the best thing I can do in this run. Hey Snowbo, don't kill my ICGM, please. Thank you. Perfect hit, actually. Very fortunate for me that it goes like that. Spike is here. You're plus one to five. ICGM. I could actually flip like this. Potentially. I just. Oh, it's such a shame if I lose ICGM here. You could silence Snowbo. Hero hits a five, clears this row. Yeah, I see it. Because of Snoffle giving me the one turn arrow walk here, my hero goes before Winterworm so he can come down and kill Winterworm. What's left? I mean, this fight is just Winterworms and Snowbows usually. Sometimes there's a Grouchy. That is true. Can't argue with that. Uh, this takes a gear hammer hit. No matter what, the snowbows overlap in this way. Uh, we can just kind of hope. Or, you know what? I can rotate up. Because he's still silenced, so you die to spike. This snowbow will sometimes take my hero's block, but that's okay. Because I'm going to hit this winter worm, and we're going to clear the whole board on this turn. That is fine with me. Ah, oh, good, it hit Junkhead. Probably the best outcome. Four kill, little money. Don't worry, Naked Gnome fans. There's still time. Here's how the Naked Gnome can still win. There's still plenty of time for the Gnome Sweep to arise. All I have to do is line up and kill Bam, and then we're out. ICGM goes pretty soon. Two turns. I go hit Boozle twice, and that's a double kill. Seems good to me. Great fight, honestly. No notes. This was pretty much perfect. I got plenty of money out of it. We cleared everything. No one died. No one ever felt like they were going to die. Super good. I have to pick up crowns, no doubt. Raspberry Charm Gnome is good. It doubles his attack. Spark Charm is less good here. This is all good. I'm happy with this. We get to go to the shop. I'm looking for Forging Stove, pretty much. There's nothing too good to duplicate. It's Snozuka or Bust. But I'm happy to go Cave Treasure here, because Forging Stove shifts the landscape completely. Too bad. Uh, it's fine. I pass this. I don't need Bling Bank. No forging stove here. In a different world, I would buy this palm bomb, but it's minus one. I take the charm, and we're hoping for a plus two, maybe? Or a greed would be good. Molten egg. Hmm. Molten egg palm bomb isn't terrible. Nine damage to all right off the jump, but don't love it. What do you think? I think it's fine. I don't hate just committing myself here to round one sun cream. With the gnome on two attack, it's pretty decent. Probably just molten egg here for safety as well. Having the ability to swing a seven is good. To all my gnomey believers here, I want you to know this is still a gnome angle. Until they rip the gnome line from my cold dead hands, I will carry on. Play Snoffle first. I just need a little bit more 
value. Two damage every round is cool, but not very good. Oh, you know what? I should jump head this three guy two here. Because then I can sun song box my gnome. This is also a good one for sunlight drum to come into play. Can I? No, I cannot. A shame. Yeah, a sun song box can do good work here for me. Or not some songbox, sorry. A sunlight drum can do good work here for me. For sure. I don't want to play through this hand. Ooh. I have to drill to get to this jab joke in the back. It's a lot of work. It's just like... Even on this one turn timer, it takes my man seven rounds to kill this gok and eight to kill this one on his own, so we're still a ways away from a clear victory, I will say. It's on the horizon, I think. Or, I think you go fight box. This is kind of grim. I get a draw though, which is nice. What'll it be? Hey, this guy has Greek charms on him. You ever notice that? What do you mean? I wonder what that means. Wow, these hands are not very good for me. Sheesh. Well, the seven kills Jab Jode, I think, right? We could also kill Porcupine, maybe? This five goes here, this five goes here. This one times two goes here, this Porcupine. The future is muddy. I cannot see. I will feel. I'm gonna do this actually because I want this junk head junk now. That seems reasonable. Five and then two by one here. And then. I need the Sun Song Box Hero. Don't get so lost in the gnome sauce that I just throw the run. That's what we need to avoid here. Very clear through line. Kill Porcupine, all is well. ICGM hits the floor. And that'll tank Muttonhead. My hero goes shortly. Do you win this? Not quite. Need a little bit of help, I think. One gunk fruit and you take it. Okay. He will win this now. And Muttonhead hits here, take the double kill, and we are all clear. And we get a whole new set of opportunities for the game to make my gnome dreams a reality. Hope you're excited, because I sure am. Dude's on 13 demonized, though. My man's fighting it out. And you know what? He's winning. He's, he, he won it. Gotta give it to him. Okay, ooh, suboptimal for me. Okay, it's time to start thinking about our future. I need this totem of the goat. It's time to face the music. The gnome might have to be benched. I think it is the sad reality. I want to go bottom path. 
But this fight is going to be so painful. If I go here and grab another one, no, I'm going to go Traveler. Show me something good, please. Is it too late to turn around? Whew. This is not going to be an enjoyable fight. Hope you're ready for another skull flattening at the hands of bone cats. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, my turn, my turn. Me next, me next, I can't wait. Please, bone cats, take up 20 minutes of my time. Please, please, I love it so much. It's okay. We'll be all right. I'm going to R1 ICGM, and I'm going to take money on Hero here. Money on Gnome is a waste. Please, Bone Cats, please do this shit to me. Oh, you're too kind. Yeesh. You're gonna waste your block anyway onto teeth, so I may as well goat totem and get this demon eyes. Ugh. It's gonna be grim. I have to lose one on the ICGM here. You don't get the choice. I think you do. Well, the enemies that are spawning in are two bone cats. This is always bone cat bone or paw 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 goblin. I know that's always what this is. So I can call them in and freeze them. But how much do I care about that? Not very much. I don't think. I want this one turn. It matters more. Okay. Here they are. Right. Tough call. I think you... I think you kill Smog, Silence, Marrow. Because my barrage is much better used on this top row. This feels like it's the idea. Because then my hero takes no damage, right? And then I play Spike, and Spike clears this guy and drops this one to two. Snuffle goes to one, don't care. This is just optimizing HP usage. Very simple theory on that one. Uh, you're given the opportunity to take a hero like Snuffle to one HP. You may as well do it, because I'm going to need every point of health. It's open now. Not a big issue. my draw. Bonnie. Hmm. Definitely killing off this pawpaw. These guys get frozen. I'm down to play bite box to kill the marrow since he's waking up next turn. 
aimless hits here, that's fine. You swing in and no longer exist. This is a redraw. Silence and Snowzooka, very nice. This pawpaw dies. Natural causes will be on the report. Hit in the head with a naturally occurring hammer. And I took Bonnie thinking she was going to get to do something and then she bottom decked. That's how it goes though, boss. Like that sometimes. Freeze the dude. Three hits, ICGM. I would say it's unlikely to win, but it should, if I do this, put me into a winning position. Here, go get him, champ. Maybe it would have won. No, wait, that was just killing me aimless, of course. Of course it hits like that, I killed the guy that gave aimless. You're here. This is frozen. All things considered, that wasn't that bad of a bone cast fight. It was like maybe four minutes. Some of these bone cast fights have been like 20 minutes long. I thought this was going to be worse. That was fine. Despite my early complaints. I go charm merchant, see a charm I can't afford, and then cry? I go f here, miss forging stove, get money, miss forging stove, die here. It's an interesting pick, really. I think the charm merchant is very likely to just disappoint me. This will disappoint me, but at least I get the money. Ah, oh. Well, snow cake, but they made it stupid isn't very good. We trained him wrong as a joke. The problem is that a lot of like, the final boss can't play this card. So I'm just not into it. I don't think you can. Aimless snow cake and get away with it. Well, at least, at least we can hold out hope for the future. Isn't that right, team? Probably need to pick up this storm globe. Not even a probably. On the granite charm. Oh dear. I need to buy another charm. Could have had spark charm, pomegranate, ICGM. But I've been holding out for forging stove, and I'm not changing my tune now. Let me get another charm. Squid charm. That one's pretty good. Where's brother gnome? Bonnie, get out of here. Head up, boss man. This comes off the board. You get a crown. I want a squid charm on Naked Gnome here. It's very good to have a one turn timer silence. It changes a lot. This last crown though? Hmm. It makes you think, doesn't it? I think I'm going to lose, but that's not necessarily part of this thought. I think what I'm going to do is not play the crown yet. The end. I'll just wait until I have more information. Because all I'm going to be doing in this fight is dancing around Krunker anyway. There's not a whole lot of nuance to this, I must say. 
Oh dear. I guess my hero just eats five. Nothing to be done about it. Hmm. Yeah, because if I push back, you're, you're gonna... My block goes away this turn. No matter how you slice or dice it. But I want to go get a silence on this guy now. Poor peace of mind. Yep, there's basically nothing to do here. I will play Loom and Vase on Snawful. Lose my block. It's all good. At least Kronker is being kind. That's a lot of spunchers, and brother, I don't do any damage. Range. The direction this run is heading, unfortunately, uh, our fallback plan is to just, like, load up on Snuffle. It's always a trial if we have to play this way. You're here. You guys are all on four. Sadly, they're tied with Snuffle. One more turn and all would be nice. Let me get a Storm Globe on this brother. Won't be anything bad, please. That is anything bad. Yes, that is very bad. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, it's fine. I hit zeros now. I think I don't care that much about this goat totem's death, so I'm just gonna let it go. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like I need Demon Eyes to win this fight. And then we get a bunch of Freeze that's wasted. And we piece it together from here. You're on 5 versus 4, which is good at least. I'm gonna need Spike, I have a feeling. Gobbler? Doesn't matter. Could be an ICGM angle. Why not? You never know when ICGM is gonna go. And I do know that I don't like this gobbler very much. I think Gnome comes down here and I just freeze this dude. And then Snopple refreezes. <laughs> 4 plus 2, we kill here, you're gonna freeze. 2 damage here, you're on 5. You know. Oh, wow, it's the Grink Brigade. As if things weren't troubling. Here comes the Grinky 1 and the Grinky 2. I got a 4 turn timer defeat coming. You're dead. You're dead. You're on a three. You're tied with Snuffle. You need to be frozen. That's all there is to be said. You're here. Three damage is here. The next Snuffle freeze will be the one that finishes it off, I feel. You're dying. Snuffle tanks, again, optimize your HP, set him to 1 when you can, it's all good, 3, 2 plus 2, this one's dead, this one's dead, it's just me and the final Grink, and Krunker, he's here too in theory, 
technically speaking, Krunker is also still alive in this position, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, he sure is. And there we go. Another day, another battle. Barring some... Well, no, Krunker can't even kill me because he's just going to get his backline stolen by the gnome. He has no key. He has no play here. It's over. He's just going to get... Also, he's going to get ICGM now that I look at it. He's going to spawn in and eat 40 damage immediately. I'm killing him pre-combat, which is probably wrong. Yeah, because what if he fucking domes me like this? Go ahead, Snuffle, get out of here. We should save Spike. If I can draw a... Oh wait, that's right, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't hit this. I know that. He doesn't hit this. This is a false outcome. Anyway, he's taking 42. And then he gets frozen again, and then the gnome puts him to four, and then gear hammer kills. Okay. Uh, that's fine by me. A win's a win. I am very poor. Battle charm. Frog charm. What if my gnome hits six per turn? How is that? I don't think I'm going to all in on Chuckle Charm. I think that's a really good way to get killed, basically. I could go these. If I go these, I'm all inning to see Forging Stove or other cards that boost damage. Hard to say. I guess in the end I can just play for hero and barrage ICGM maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh It's all good. Charm Merchant. If I go here and there's a Chuckle Charm, I will just be so sad. <laughs> I don't know if I even want to go. I'm not I'm not going to go. You know what? It's better not to know. Oh, it's here! No, it's real! No way! I can't believe it. It's actually unfathomable. It, it's really him, dude. It's him, it's him, it's really him. I'm not one crown short, that's right. I held this cursed crown for forging stove. I just have to be able to buy a crown in the next area and I'm all clear. What a world. I don't I actually just don't believe it. Um Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to put Barrage on the Gnome, I suppose. It's, it's him. It's really him. I can't believe it. I didn't think I would see it. Yeah, here I am. You know, I've been, I've been not cheating the game. I'm going to cheat the game on this fight because I think it might matter. I don't mind doing a little cheating here. I kind of want to grab that wild, or like try to silence that wild off, but I think it's fine. Gnome goes here. I have no junk, but this, this hand is also, it was only two cards to play, so it's fine. I'm not going to bother with Snoffle in this case. Hogs die. Forging stove ICGM right here one time. Oh, man. 
I get this combo though, which is similarly powerful. I respect you, Warthog. That's what this is. This is respect. Here. Hopefully I win the coin flip. Nice. Of course I win the coin flip. There's no question. By the way, uh, this is a bug. People will often tell me that this doesn't seem like a bug. I wonder if this one's ever been reported. Um, it's inconsistent if you kill an enemy that has wild in this fight with a barrage ink. It's inconsistent if the... Okay. The situation is this, right? This Warthog is sitting here unsilenced. There's a hog behind it. You hit it for seven barrage and apply ink. What should happen here is the ink should apply before death, right? Because the ink applies before anything else, in theory. And then this hog should not get multi-hit. In actuality, this hog gets the multi-strike for some reason. For, even though... Uh, the guy behind him died, he was silenced. It doesn't matter, he still gets it. It's just a bit of an error in the way the triggers order, I guess. But people have argued with me about this, that this is not a bug. I am sure it's a bug. Because it's inconsistent. Uh, sometimes it... Sometimes your barrage ink will... Well, actually, I guess you'll see it on Razor, is the actual thing I should say. Unless I draw a silence, which I actually hope I do... Now that I'm talking about it, I should actually just force this to be okay. Because as much as I would love to prove a point, I would much more love to win. And so I'm going to do that. But it's inconsistent on how many stacks of Frenzy Razor will get from this. Which is why I think it's a bug. Sometimes... So the big one that people will say to me though is they'll say, Oh, well, he had Wild when these other guys died, therefore... Uh, this is not a bug. He was supposed to get this frenzy. However, very clearly here, if I silence Razor first, he will not get any frenzy from this. And I am 100% certain this is not going to like surprise me and I'm not going to go, oh wait, it doesn't work like that because I know this is how this works. I am sure on this front that this is how it works. When you are silenced with wild, you don't have wild. It's just an ordering problem. I, it's not a big deal. You just need to know about this. This is one of those million niche interactions that you just have to know about Wild Frost and you learn them by doing. When you're silencing with a barrage silence, you have to... Uh, you have to know that if an enemy survives, they will sometimes not take the silence and they will get the frenzy for free. Just one of those things you gotta know. Good. I, I, you know, I didn't get far on that document of uh, things I know about Wild Frost. It's tough because what do I know about Wild Frost? Dude, I know a lot about this game. I know a lot of things about Wild Frost. It's hard to get them all converged because it's like, I don't know, that one's niche, but there's a lot of things that I think are obvious that other people probably don't. Nice, we get our last crown. Very good. Um, none of these. You could play Blaze Bomb here. I think it's okay. Because the gnome is already paper. It's just like, when do you hit it, right? You hit it, and then it's probably already over. I guess it's fine. It's only one card. But a lot of times this one card kills me, so... Eh. Last crown. Thank you very much. And I even get a charm. No, I don't have the setup for Ice Dice. Oh, Charm. Too bad. It just does nothing. Okay, I have held this Cursed Crown for long enough. This one goes on Forging Stove. This one goes on ICGM? Let's see. You're on 11... No, you're on 10 Barrage... Hmm. Versus eight. Ten versus eight. I think it matters. 
it's or seven. Sorry, I don't know. I'm giving him one. He doesn't have one. I'm just thinking about it because it's worth considering playing this gear hammer instead. Oh, hey, look at this. I can take this junk's crown off. That's right. That's why I put the cursed crown on sun cream and not on junk. I remember. I could do this, and this accelerates the timetable very heavily. Okay, I, there's no spawn that gives me trouble in this fight, because my gnome will kill everything before it can give me trouble. Remember to play this in the correct order. Gnome. Stove. Blaze Bomb. Hero. Sun Cream. I think we go here. Now, you are just allowed to do this. Uh, ink always goes first. He will not be giving plus 10 away to anyone. I can't be uba bared in this position. I can't be spike walled. No enemy can spawn in with, like, I don't know, spikes. That doesn't happen in this fight. Uh, I can't be mega mimicked. I have enough units. And even if I were to be mega mimicked here... Actually, you know what I should do? I should hit the wave down now. Because I can see if there's a Mega Mimic, uh, and I can go first. If you don't hit the bell there, this Mega Mimic could actually get you, because your gnome would not go first. The Mega Mimic would. Honestly, I kind of just want to call all the enemies. This could be multi-hit. Right, this could be Rock Hog. Could be that. Doesn't matter. Actually does not matter. Uh, Rock Hog was the one that did not spawn here. It was our missing man. All good with me. Oh, I can redraw. If you Sunsong box, you clear the whole board here. Like, and you clear his follow-up spawns. It's good to do, I think, but we do have to do a little bit of legwork to kill off the Frost Guardian because he will get silenced on the first swing here, on the second swing here, actually. So we do have to do the like work to kill him from 120. Oh, really? Hey, that's inconsistent. Uh, that is not how that should work, I don't think. I'm not complaining. It saves me a lot of time, but I do not agree. I think he should not lose attack and health, or he should not gain attack there. Because the other Frost Guardian version uh, does not give attack, right? But I guess it's processing these deaths first. Oh, you know what? This is kind of like the Kabonker issue. So what's the Kabonker issue? If you haven't seen it, I've played a few runs of this. If you play Snuffle Kabonker, what enemy is getting snowed first, quote unquote, right? And I've I've watched this a few times. Kabonker goes in reverse turn order. So the Frost Guardian is like so one, two, three, four, five, six basically is the turn order. Is top uh top bottom top bottom top bottom right top front bottom front top middle bottom middle top back bottom back uh kabonker goes actually kabonker i think kabonker goes this way come to think of it yeah i think kabonker he doesn't quite go in reverse turn order he goes back to front top to bottom i bet barrage is the same way where it's going back to front for processing kills interesting we're thinking about. It's, it's cool to learn how things like this work, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna take some screenshots. One sec. Okay, screenshots done. Let's get ourselves on out of here. If you don't mind. Yeah, this run panned out. It's very cool. I... There is a clear, correct way to play through this run. I think, like, a very obvious winning line that takes you all the way to the end. It's ICGM, you take the Spark Charm, and then you just duplicate it a bunch of times. I think you would have two, which is good enough. But in this episode of Wild Frost, I committed to something dumb, even though I keep saying I'm going to stop doing that. But this time, instead of being punished, they brought Forging Stove home from the war. And me and my good buddy Forging Stove are going to take home a real real banger of a run here. Last card. 
You're here. You're there. Um, that's fine. I guess you could do this, right? It doesn't take long for my gnome to clear. But I can accelerate it by redraw belling. Whoa, double sun charm muncher. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, hang on a second here, buddy. Let's talk at this one out. That guy's kind of freaky. This goes here now. You're out. Goodbye, Spike. I don't think there's a good reason to save him here. Twenty thirty-four. 34. If I gear hammer this guy, he dies. Yeah, I don't have a good answer to why would I save Spike here. I don't think there is one, to be honest. Spike, Junkhead, it's the same. They fill the same purpose. All good. Do you beat the Frost Bomber out? No, I should help you. Just in case, you never know. It's cool for Gunkfruit to get a kill. Alright, and that'll do. Shout out to my buddy, Naked Gnome. I think, my brother, it was worth saving. He's got, I mean, he's a little better to pick up nowadays too because you just get less money at the start of the run anyway, so you're not losing that much for saving the gnome there. And sometimes you get to do cool things, and that's fun. I like it. But m most importantly, I'm glad to see Naked Gnome has returned home from the war. I haven't seen this unit in so long, I feel like. They, he's just been in hiding, I don't know. Maybe he was underground? Hard to say. Good to, good to see him back, and good to play him. And good of you to watch my video to the end. Hey, I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.